Hello and welcome to Be Mad in Revit Tutorials. The series of tutorials on how to model roof structure continues. In previous tutorial I make tutorial on how to model roof rafters, how to cut them and how to do joints between them. In today's tutorial I will show you two different ways with, uh, with tips and tricks on how to model roof decking. Here we have a reference photo uh, which shows uh, uh, roof elements. We have roof rafters, roof decking, uh, contra button, button and metal sheet. Now I will show you uh, one way how to model roof decking. We will create roof decking using uh, roof tool and uh, we will create roof um, by uh, extrusion from here we choose roof by extrusion pick a plane and i will pick the surface i will pick this surface here okay and now i will turn this view and from here we will select the uh, roof deck this, uh, the, this will be 2 cm offset and in a very simple way I create the roof decking here I like this way because uh, I just need to correct this part here Okay, now it fit uh, our decking will follow the roof rafter. I like this method because the uh, roof decking uh, is easier to align with rafters. Okay, and I will using a line tool, I will align this part here. I just need to create uh, one roof more using the same tool. I choose the surface and the view and from here we, we will create a roof deck with two centimeters offset. As you can see the length of the this line follow the length of the rafter and uh, th this is the one of the reasons I like this method just to change this part here so our now it's good okay uh, what we need now we need to uh, align this part of the roof from both sides and we need to cut the unnecessary parts of the roof. You can use this method for creating a normal roof. Now I will show you, I will isolate these two roof elements so I can easily uh, continue cutting the unnecessary parts using cut we, uh, by surface we choose the surface and we select the part that we want to cut okay I cut that part now I will use the same tool and cut the other part too okay the method is very simple, select the surface and select the part you want to cut. We need to cut this other uh, roof with same tool Select by selecting the surface and by selecting the area that we want to be cut. OK, uh, we just need to join these parts properly and that's it
we have perfect cut it shape of the roof. Before starting with this, I join this to a roof, so I had I have all these reference lines where two roof uh, surface uh, cutting each other. Okay. You can see from the section. In first tutorial, I create this reference roof, so can so I can see the uh, are the new created elements in pro uh, proper place on the roof. Okay, this this is it. I will just select these two parts okay. so I will select similar and by using the displacement uh, set tool you can create the presentations later uh, for your a roof sheet and that's it now I will show you different uh, method when you have a more complex uh, roof more complex than this one uh, okay I will hide this too and first I will create I will create the roof using a roof tool and using uh, creating roof by uh, foot by foot point okay and from here you can you can uh, create this kind of roof from floor plan uh, I like to create it uh, from 3d view like this okay And when we join these uh, lines, we will have the shape of the roof we have here. Okay. Now I will join them. I will tr uh, trim them. Okay, and I will change the uh, slope of the roof and I will click OK. Now we have a complex roof, you can see. I will change these parts, when we deselect this part here, we will have the roof we need. But you can use the same method if you uh, if you create uh, if you want to create a more complex roof. Okay, we just move this part here. Okay, that's it. I need to check the. Are, are our decking covered the roof rafters? No. Okay. I will modify this roof a little bit. I will go on floor plan and I will change this part here to 110. Okay, 
I will make this change uh, for all lines 110 110 here too and 110 from here now I will show you how to cut the part we don't need okay I'll, I'll need just to move all right correction here okay sometime we can uh, found the joint point and I use this method this method by zooming the view Okay, now using cut by face, I will cut the, the part of the roof uh, decking we don't need. Uh, like in the previous method, you need to choose the surface and you need to select the part you want to cut. <coughs> You, you use these methods when you create the execution projects when you want to calculate all uh, all material quantities for all elements and if you like to create different type of presentations you uh, use this method and of course, if you paid enough <laughs> for this method, <laughs> you will use it. Actually, when you do it once, uh, it's easy for you to create this kind of uh, roof presentations. The first time it can look uh, maybe a little uh, complex and difficult but when you do it it becomes the routine and uh, easy f f uh, to create it's same for all kind of uh, modeling in, in Revit this part here uh, in in next tutorial I will show you how to create the contra buttons and buttons I will uh, create the tutorial on how to model the roof rafters using curtain roof tool there are difference between between uh, curtain roof rafters and uh, create between uh, uh, rafters created uh, using uh, beam elements. Beam elements uh, are used for uh, for uh, structure engineers. They use them to create different uh, calculations in Revit but uh, you can do that using using uh, curtain roof tool but if you do only architecture part of the uh, project you can use the curtain roof tool also uh, this is all for this tutorial 
please don't forget to, subscri to subscribe and to share my work with your friends and colleagues. See you in the next tutorial.